let's start out by showing you the different parts of the horse's hoof. We have the hoof wall, the white line, the sole, the frog, the collateral grooves and the bars, the central sulcus, the heel and the toe, and the heel bulbs. In order to shoe a horse, the farrier must first remove the old shoe. Then he cleans the frog. This could be done with a double-sided hook knife or with a regular hook knife as shown here. Then the farrier trims the excess sole with the hook nippers. The farrier uses a rasp to flatten and level the hook to prepare it for a new shoe. As with human feet, horses' feet come in many shapes and sizes. A farrier will need to make minor adjustments to the shoe to guarantee an accurate fit. An experienced farrier will use their eyes and fingers to know where adjustments need to be made. They will make their adjustments with an anvil and a hammer. The farrier aligns the shoe so that it sits perfectly against the edge of the hook. Then, drive the nails through the holes in the shoe to fix it to the horse's hook. The farrier uses a rasp to level the outside of the shoe with the hook. The farrier uses nippers to remove the protruding nail end from the hoof. Clinchers are used to bend the end of the nail to hold the shoe in place. To finish up, the farrier gets the hoof once over with the rasp smoothing out any uneven spots and giving the hook a nice clean finish.